Savage, savage, why you trapping so hard? Why these niggas capping so hard? Why you got a 12 car garage? Why you pulling out these rappers' cards? Hey bro, what's happening man? It's the man Stag Got Range. We're here with another video, man. I'ma hop straight into this video because we don't got too much time on our hands. I wanted to get you guys a story time because it's been a while since I did a story time. The last story time I did was my first ever video, so that feels like a long time ago. So we're gonna get into a story time. Y'all already get the dealio and see what it is that we're gonna be talking about in this story time. And the time I got arrested. Now, this was based upon the time where it was eighth grade year, first day of spring break, man. It was like March 3rd or March seven five one of them days i don't know it's just you know march and it was the first day of spring break where i almost got arrested so let's get into these details man first day of spring break eighth grade you know i was going over my cousin house i live in chicago i didn't live in the rough neighborhood of chicago but i lived in a, a neighborhood that was okay i want to say it was like it was a solid neighborhood but the, by the time i left which was that year of eighth grade or the next year after that starting into my freshman year of high school I had actually moved into a suburb of Chicago or a suburb of yeah, a suburb of Chicago to be honest. So that's that. Um but this, I didn't live, really live in a rough neighborhood, but I went over to my cousin's house this day. I, he lives in a rough neighborhood. He I don't know if it's Ingle I don't think it is Inglewood, but it is just as bad as Inglewood. I'm not sure if the actual neighborhood is Inglewood, but it's getting closer to downtown. You know, it's just a part of like I think it's, it's just a part of the west the west side man so i went down there to my cousin's house now i go over this dude's house a lot like i always go over his house and whatnot and um you know i usually go over there for the summertime just chilling with him i'll be over there to eat with his family because his family that's my cousin his family is also my aunt and uncle and he got a sister those are my cousins too so i just go over there to just chill he had an xbox 360 at this time i just went over there to play games chill play basketball with him do what normal cousins doing whatnot so man a nigga we i went over there and what we did was exactly what i just named played the xbox and whatnot uh but at this one unfortunate time we actually went outside and we started he had a trampoline as well so i always hopped on the trampoline too do uh at this one unfortunate time we was playing basketball and whatnot got on the trampoline just getting on and off on the basketball and trampoline and whatnot and it was just you know i was living my life man it was fun as hell man it was having fun when I was a child and I kind of miss that neighborhood I kind of miss Chicago and hate being in the suburb but I gotta stay safe man that's the reason why I moved out of that joint cuz my the neighborhood that I lived in it's not the west side where my cousin lived but it's a different neighborhood it's terrible now it's downright terrible Ashburn y'all know what Ashburn is of Chicago It's getting terrible man it's getting to that point where niggas gotta move out cuz it's like gang just taking over that bitch but anyways dude I was over at my cousin's house we had went out you know he had actually plan to invite his other friend now i knew of this friend as well um his friend did some weird as outstanding shit if i could say that because dude had brought over a bow and arrow now this bow and arrow is specifically he just brought brought over this like little toy he brought this little toy bow and arrow but it didn't function like a toy at all like this shit this shit functioned like a real weapon so we were his cousin had his friend i'm saying his, his cousin his friend that he invited over with all three of us man we was just chilling in the backyard and he had brought this toy bow and arrow which was literally like a little killer weapon man this stuff was a killer weapon dude and um he started playing with it he started showing us and what it could do we lost a couple arrows then and you know then and there uh because we was in the backyard so what we did was we would we didn't want to bust out any windows in the backyard of anybody else's house so we went into this vacant lot that is by my cousin's house so we went into this vacant lot it's just pretty much like it's, it's a small piece of it's just a small lot man it's just a small piece of grassland that we we're able to play on it's it's pretty open that we could play around with this toy bow and arrow but there is a house next to this vacant lot so between my cousin's house and this vacant lot is another house that is vacant as well nobody lives into it so we had actually we was playing with the toy bow and arrow in that vacant lot and we ended up having the uh arrow go through a window sadly it went through that it went through that bitch so uh it went through the window screen actually so we was actually trying to get the 
arrow out of the screen so he could retrieve it so he wouldn't just have an arrow laying there you know like we got to save up on arrows because this dude brought a load of arrows over and we was losing each one one by one because we was just shooting at everyone you can't get those arrows back man they shoot far as hell when i say this thing is a toy but it acts like a weapon i'm for real it acts like a weapon you can knock somebody eye out with this bitch so that's what had happened man this arrow went into a window screen and we you know struggle and also succeeded to get the arrow out but what it was look there's this you know there was this former I, I guess she a retired cop man she was across the street saw us in this vacant lot like we just three normal kids but the thing was is that it's this type of neighborhood that we can't be doing stuff like that trying to get an arrow out of the window because what it looks like from the other person from their view it looks like we were trying to break into that window trying to break into that house so that's what this cop thought man and she she was a former she's actually a former police officer she could have i don't know if she had the um the power since she's retired i don't know if she has the power to actually come over to us and try to arrest us but what she did was she already had the arrow out man we already had the arrow out of the window screen and she still had you know the cops was already the cops was already wrong man the cops already rang man she already called them them uh dudes and they already on their way here so they had to check us out man and like for real we tried to tell the truth but the dude tried to arrest us i had to actually go no but the thing was is that i tried to walk off all smooth and stuff once i saw the cops because i actually was i would be arrested by association because i wasn't playing with the toy bow and arrow at all because i was um i kind of knew something was wrong with it man i kind of knew something was wrong with this toy bow and arrow that somebody is looking at us man somebody i just felt that type of suspicion that somebody could be looking at us they may think that this is wrong so i was just sitting back man i was just sitting back letting them play with it but i would have been arrested by association of attempted burglary attempted break-in home invasion whatever whatever stuff called man i believe it was home invasion which is what we were going to be falsely accused of and try to get it they were trying to arrest us around those type of lines which around that crime of being you know home invasion because they saw us trying to invade a house but we really tried to get this toy arrow out of the damn window screen so that's that man she called the cops on us i actually tried to walk off smooth but the cop had said hey come here little boy he told me to go i tried to walk off all smooth like i wasn't involved in the situation but that's what they do man for real they like when you see three kids and just so have we all just so happen to be black and we are tall at, at our age we kind of look tall we were like i had to say we were like 12 and uh what was i in eighth grade 13 or 14 something like that i was 13 didn't turn 14 yet but being 13 and 12 years old we was tall to be little kids like that and just seeing tall black kids we looked like tall teenagers which we were getting into, into our teenage years and just seeing that gives off the suspicion you know the suspicious feeling that we're fucking black criminals seeing as black criminals so that's the thing man that's how i see it now but it's all good um yeah the cops was calling us i actually had to go get my mom from inside the house because she was in the house with my uncle they was just you know chilling again family going over family's house we all just chilling but i had to go get my mom my mom looked like she was about to cry man she looked like she was just about to burst out in tears because i was finna get arrested and she really can't imagine me doing that type of stuff so that's that man we got let loose though they let us off the hook because they was just trying to give us a lesson at the end of the day but it's all good man no cops can you know like 12 can't stop us man 12 cannot stop me man 12 cannot stop stag got range because i wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for them letting us loose man they can't stop us nigga. so anyways man that's the story time right there thank you guys for watching man hopefully you guys enjoyed that story time make sure you go ahead and comment down below if you guys want some more story times if you guys want any type of content let me know man down in the uh the comments below man so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching subscribe if you have not subscribed already i'm trying to get to that a hundo that 100 subscribers man for real let me hit this milestone real quick let me hit this goal real quick man on this channel so do that for me man share my content share my videos with your friends so they know what's up man drop a like on this video if you enjoy it that's it that's it's it man that's it i'm out of this bitch man thank y'all